Now, another trick or another aspect of eye animation is the pupils. That's the black part, not the green part we see here, but the black part. The context of this is basically your eye is trying to maintain a consistent exposure. What that means is it's trying not to let the light levels go up and down drastically so that it can't expose the image correctly or view the image correctly. So, you know, when you come out of the cinemas and you've been in a dark cinema and you walk out into bright light, that is a kind of exposure mismatch. So what we can do with that information practically when we're animating, basically light sources are almost always above us in some way, either lights on the roof or the sun or whatever. So when we lift our head up or look up any higher, our pupils tend to contract because more light is hitting the surface. And when we look down, uh, we tend to block more light from the surface and the pupils expand. Likewise, when the lids come down over the eye, that blocks light from the surface of the pupil and the pupil tends to get bigger. And when the reverse happens, the pupil tends to get smaller. Um, easy enough to remember, right? So we'll start them a little bigger than normal, just a bit. Not enough that he looks like he's uh, on drugs of some sort, just a little bigger than the default. And then as this eye dart happens and the lids come down, they block some light from the sun or from the lights above or from the eye direction from those pupils going lower on that circular surface of the eye also makes it harder for the light to reach them. So it's probably going to expand. Oh yeah, so I should make our, uh, our opening one a little smaller actually. And then as he looks down, they expand a little. That's, you know, too much, but then on an eye dart like this, see how the upper lid's coming down a bit? So I might take that information and, okay, across those three frames as the upper lid comes down, I will increase that pupil size a little. And what this does is starts to loosen up that pupil on close-up shots like this and make it feel alive just a little bit. You don't want it to feel like it's blooming or anything. Um, and I'm probably overdoing it a little bit here. I'm just going to go through and animate for the rest of these eye darts. Okay, let's see what that does. Now look closely at those pupils. See how the eyes starting to feel a bit alive. And it's not just random resizing, it's actually, you know, uh, consistent and coming from actual rules, you know. So as that lid lets in more light, the pupil shrinks, so it doesn't need as much. Seven years. Seven years. I've not seen my family, my friends. Then every day, like the day before, I wake up, wash my face, look myself in the mirror. Disgusted. 